Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to pick up right where we left off uh, last time. So if you didn't see the last video, I would go check it out and um, come back here when you're done. Um, but let's get started. Uh, so um, today we're going to talk about uh, a little bit more in depth about how um, end curses actually like moves around the screen because last time we saw that um, it would print things to the top of the screen in the top left corner but you can actually move where things get printed um, and that's done using what's called the cursor in end curses um, that's kinda I think that's pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's where curses comes from it's because it's like there's a cursor and you can move it around alright anyways um, so I'm gonna stop trying to um, analyze the the programming language so <laughs> Basically, um, the cursor starts by default at 0, 0, which is the top left corner of the screen. So over here in our example window, it would be up here in the top left corner. Um, so, um, the way you move where the cursor is, is with the function called, nicely enough, move. Um, so, moves the cursor to the specified location. So, it will um, take two parameters, and instead of being x and y, like you would think it would be, it is Y and X, and you'll find that theme um, follows throughout um, end curses, is that if there is ever a coordinate system, it will always be Y and then X instead of X and then Y. Um, uh, in this case, what we'll do is we'll just make two values, X and Y, uh, or, yeah, X and Y, um, and we'll give them values, or you know, two variables, X and Y, and give them values. In this case, we'll just make them the same thing, um, x equals y equals 10. Alright, uh, so that will move the cursor to position 10, 10, and it will print out hello world, and then it will print out um, the character that we pressed. So, actually, let's, let's make it a little more interesting. We'll have it print out the character we pressed to um, the top corner instead um, of where it printed hello world. So... We'll go um, move, and um, we'll move it to uh, zero, 0, again. So we'll start it over. Uh, up here, I, I'm just doing y and x to um, kind of give you the idea to try and ingrain in your head that y comes first and x is second. So you don't always have to input it with the variable. You could just input um, straight up character or straight up integers. Um, but let's just uh, compile that. I'm actually going to quickly make a make file so we don't have to keep compiling. Uh, if you don't know what a make file is, again, that's something that's going to be good to look up. Um, so uh, we're going to have all be um, hello, and we'll have hello be, it will require um, hello.cpp, and it will run the command g++ dash ln curses um, hello dot cpp dash o hello and um, we're going to run make and it'll make our file for us and if we run hello it brought um, wow that brought us oh yeah it's because the way the coordinate system works is it's um, y is the number of lines to go down it's not like pixels or something um, so we went down 10 lines and we went over 10 columns I think, technically. So 10 rows, uh, 10 columns, I guess is. We'll use rows and columns. So uh, think of Y as the amount of rows, and think of X as the amount of columns over. So columns correspond to, like, one letter, uh, essentially. Um, and then now if you press a character, it'll print the character up in the top right corner, or top left corner. And it'll leave A, because basically what ends up happening is the cursor moves here to where the H is, it prints out each character and moves along, and then it gets to the, um, I'll run it again to show you what I mean, but, uh, you'll see that the cursor is now here, um, at the end of the exclamation point, because it printed out all these characters, and now it's waiting for us to press something, and when we do press it, it, print, it prints it to the screen there, and then, um, we move down to zero, zero, and we print out the, the number that we got, and then it waits for another character, and then it, uh, it exits out, it's like that. So, um, that's kind of how cursors work. There's another way um, you can actually condense print w and move into one um, function because they realize that people commonly want to move and then print something. So you can actually use 
move print, which takes um, the y and x at the beginning and then moves to that location and then prints. Um, so let's just do the same thing where we go 0, 0. Accidentally exit. There we go. Um, there we go. Make it look all nice. So let's make that again and we'll run it and hello world and it still works. So it brings us down up to 97. Um, it's really up to you which one you want to use. Sometimes it makes it clear if you make move before. Other times it makes it clear if you move within the print. So that's kind of just a style preference. Um, I personally, for whatever reason, prefer to move and then print. I just think it, in my head, it makes more obvious what's actually happening. Because um, I think of it as two separate actions, not as one. But um, that's totally personal preference. So, um, But that's it for this tutorial. Um, actually, let's test one more thing. What happens if we throw a refresh in here? I don't think it actually does change anything. We'll throw another refresh down here. Refresh. And let's run that. So make and then hello. And type A97. Yep. All right. So. Um, I guess one more thing I'll show you guys. Uh, you can clear the screen using a function called clear. Um, so clears the screen. Um, technically, yeah, it clears the screen. Um, and the fun function uh, is literally just called clear. So what this will do is it takes no parameters and it'll clear the what's called the standard screen, which is technically a type of window, which I'll go into in a later tutorial. But um, Clear with no parameters, we'll just clear the entire screen. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll put that in an area where we can actually see what's happening. Uh, so I'll I'll have the screen clear right after um, they press a the character, so it gets rid of Hello World. That's what it should do. It should get rid of should print Hello World. Wait for me to press a key, then get rid of Hello World and print 97 like it did. Okay. So um, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.